This year's Long Island Latino Film Festival was held this past weekend at Stony Brook University's Wang Center. Although it is the fifth year that this event takes place, attendance was low, something that disappointed many. What I would like to see more, and I know that they're trying the best they can, would be just a little bit more of an outreach. Uh, maybe it's because it's today, day three of the uh, film festival, but I kind of expected it to be a, a larger number of people here to attend. Uh, particularly because I think the, uh, the films that are being shown have such a uh, deep and, and, and uh, true uh, meaning behind them. The festival showed a variety of films that showcased many of the issues surrounding the Latino community. I really loved it. I think that there are a lot of great efforts happening and a lot of amazing projects dealing with very concrete, very hard um, realities. And I think that's a great start. I really loved um, the various diverse aspects about the film festival. Both that it showed very um, festive and um, playful films for children, for instance. But yet you have those that real uh, that deal with very concrete um, realities that are taking place within our own communities. Some of the films shown at the festival touched on issues such as immigration, adaptation, and Latino stereotypes. The scripts I was getting were stereotypical. Drug dealers, tough guys, uh, uh, dirty cops. Get with it. Stereotypes are old. Others, like the documentary made by Farmingville director Carlos Sandoval, spoke of Mexican-American civil rights history. I think probably the um, most moving film was the last one, Taught to Hate, and that was um, a, a very, very closely based on reality. It was a reenactment of uh, Marcelo Lucero's death. And of course, personally, it kind of jolted our memories. The idea for the film came to me like a year ago when uh, two Ecuadorians uh, were killed in New York. Uh, the first Ecuadorian was uh, Marcelo Lucero. He was killed in, in Pacho, Long Island. And the second, Jose Sucusunay, was killed in, in Brooklyn. Uh, so after this, my, my mother called me, uh, asking me what was going on. Over there, she knows I live in Long Island. Uh, she was really worried about, my, about, about me. Um, I decided to write a story. The voice and the message in this film can make people realize that they, they need to be very careful what they say in front of their children at home. And, and words can only be changed by your thoughts. Everybody has to change the way they think about one another. We're all here trying to survive. Let's try to make the world a better place. Let's try to get along. There's en enough against us without going against one another. Gracias a la vida que me ha dado tanto, me dio dos luceros. 